guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video. This is the first of many fashion hauls. If you guys don't know, besides makeup, fashion is my other love. I actually probably love fashion more than makeup. But my problem is I buy so many things, so many nice clothes, and then I just let them sit in my closet and I never wear them because I never do anything. <laughs> I really want to start wearing my cute clothes more because they deserve to be seen, you know? I don't buy them just to sit in my closet because I'll buy them, they'll sit in my closet, and then I'll find them, tags attached, and I won't like them anymore. And then I'm just like, well, what do I do now? I just love watching fashion hauls. I love seeing what people buy, especially if it's from stores that I like, and I just find them so interesting I could watch one after another after another after another. So today I have my first fashion haul for you guys and it's from one of my favorite brands. It's actually an online store um, from the UK. It's called Misguided. I've been shopping here for a while and it's kind of like if Topshop and Forever 21 had a baby. I feel like that's the best way to describe it because the prices are really good but the quality is way better than Forever 21's quality. But not as good as like a Topshop or a Zara, you know what I mean? But that's the style that it is, and that's what I love about it. A lot of my favorite clothing stores are actually in the UK, and a lot of my fashion inspiration comes from beauty vloggers and bloggers in the UK and clothing sites and boutiques in the UK. I don't know why, but that's just what I like and that's what I'm attracted to. Another really cool thing about Misguided is they always have a sale. If you go on their website, everything is always 20, 30, 40, 50% off. I feel like one time I got things for 80% off and not the sale stuff. Like every once in a while their site will just completely go on sale and it's amazing and you can get everything at like half price or more than half price. You guys will see like the stuff is really cute. It's really different. They have a ton of stuff. I always find myself on their website just every day looking at the new arrivals, refreshing, looking at everything new. Some people might think it's a problem. I think it's called staying up to date on the latest trends. <laughs> but yeah, this video is just me showing you a bunch of stuff that I recently got from Misguided. And it's not sponsored, but Misguided, if you want to sponsor me, hit my line. I will also be inserting little clips of me trying on the stuff and telling you guys some stuff that I would pair it with, what I think it would look the best with, how I personally would style it. If you guys are interested in seeing my first fashion haul and looking at everything that I got from Misguided, then just go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing that I got is the shirt that I have on. This is actually not a shirt. It's a bodysuit, and how cute is it? It is like a sheer cream colored with like orangey reddish flowers on it. I'm obsessed with how the sleeves are puffy and see-through, but this part isn't see-through. I just think it is the cutest thing. I think it's so flattering and it's comfortable. I love how it lays on the neck. I love how these come all the way up on the shoulders, meaning you can still wear a bra with it and you're not gonna see it. The bottom, is a thong bodysuit and it's just like this cream color really comfy I prefer thong bodysuits over regular bodysuits I just think they just work a lot better I think it's so summery and cute and it makes me want to frolic in a field of sunflowers I will have everything that I show you linked in the description box below if you want to check it out and one really good thing about misguided is they have a really easy return process i order a lot of stuff online and when you're ordering stuff from out of the country if you don't check and see if they have a u.s return policy and say something doesn't work out for you and you try to send it back it could cost you more to send it back than it did for you to buy the item we love hassle-free returns yes i got this bodysuit in a US 6, which is a UK 10. Um, that's pretty much the size that I wear across the board in all their tops, but depending on if I want things to be more oversized or more fitted, I'll go up or down, but it just depends. Most of the time I'm a 6 though. Okay, next. This next item is so freaking cute. It is a top and it's that really stretchy, comfy, cool feeling material polyester that's the name of the fabric but it's just this really tropical looking top with a bunch of different vibrant colors in it and it's hard to see how it fits because it's hanging on a hanger but this fits tight across the belly it's not really a crop top 
and then the sleeves are flared and belled at the wrist they had matching bottoms but I would probably just get more use out of the top that's why I only bought the top and it's just really comfortable you can wear this with a bra without a bra I've tried both and they both work and I got this in a US size 6 I actually got these pants to go with that shirt that I just showed you guys but they can be worn with a bunch of other things but I actually got them to wear together you'll see it I'll, I'll show it in a video how I styled it together but the next thing that I got are these joggers they're kind of like a light taupe color with a bright orange stripe all the way down and then they do cuff at the bottom which I like misguided has really cute comfy clothes like joggers hoodies sweatshirts like cropped non-cropped i love these because of the really thick waistband i just find that things with thick waistbands are a lot more comfortable i love where fashion is right now meaning that we can wear sweatpants and it be considered fashion <laughs> like sweatpants with heels sweatpants with sneakers I don't ever want it to go away. I got these in a US size 6. I would say they're pretty true to size. If you want a baggier fit, I would say go up. But a 6 fit me pretty good. A little bit baggy, which is how I wanted them to be. I didn't want to be swimming in these ones. Alright, this next shirt I really took a chance with because I had no idea how it was going to be, how it was going to feel. I loved it and I thought it was really unique, so I had to get it. And I actually ended up really, really, really liking it. So it's just this little camel colored top with these poofy sleeves. And it's not, it seems like it'll be a stiff material, but it's not. It's actually really comfortable. I would wear this with just like a pair of light colored mom jeans or dark colored mom jeans. I could even wear it with the shorts that I have on right now. And just tuck it in this is another top that you could also wear with heels you could wear with sandals like a cute pair of sneakers and i think it could be dressed up or it could be super casual too that's kind of the goal with me buying clothes is can i dress it up or can i dress it down can i wear it with heels can i wear it with sneakers if the answer is yes to all of those things then it's a win <laughs> but i also got this in a size six Next thing I got is this little western style belt, which would look really cute with the shirt that I just showed you guys. I'm really into belts right now. I don't know how I never wore belts before. <laughs> they have really changed the game for me. And I'm really into snakeskin right now. I want everything that is snakeskin. I got this in a size small medium. This next item I'm really excited about because it looks expensive, but it wasn't. And it is this cream colored silky satin shirt and it's an oversized shirt i got it in my normal size and it's still a little bit oversized so if you wanted it even more oversized i would suggest going up but i wanted it to not be so oversized that it was like a dress but just an, a really big shirt it needs steamed it's really wrinkled but i just think this could go with so many things you could dress this up you could dress this down and it would just look good with anything. I would wear this tucked into some joggers with sneakers, with heels, or tucked into some jeans. I feel like pieces like this are just kind of like wardrobe essentials. And if you're not sure what to wear, you could always throw something like this on. You could unbutton it, tie it in a knot, and make it like a crop. You could tuck it in. It is a little bit longer in the back, which I like. So if you just want to wear it over some skinny jeans, that would be really cute. I actually got this in a US size 4. Model was wearing a size 4, and I think I liked how it looked on her, so that's why I got a size 4. But it's still oversized on me, so I would say if you want it to fit you, just go down a size. If you want it to be oversized, stay true to your size or go up one size. The next thing I got are actually a pair of sandals. Sometimes I get nervous buying sandals from the UK because the sizing is just off sometimes and you just never know. But I saw these and I thought they were so cute and I don't have any nude or neutral type sandals. I will say in the picture I thought they were cream. I mean I guess they kind of are cream but they're more like a nude cream and I thought they were more of a white cream and I love the rope detailing all around it and it's how it's shiny. It has that Valentino inspired studded look down the front and all down the sides. But I just thought they were really cute and I think they were super cheap that's why I got them. I'm pretty sure they had these in other colors too maybe black or a different brown color. I don't know I'll have it linked below so you guys can check it out if you want. The next item is another bodysuit. 
and it's just a white bodysuit. It has a thong bottom again, which I really like, and it has a kind of square neckline again with these puffy sleeves. I'm really into puffy sleeves right now. I just thought it was so cute and it's plain white, so it's something that you can also dress up, dress down, you can pair with anything. You can pair with joggers, jeans, shorts, a skirt, and it's gonna look good with any of them. I also like that it's not thick material, but it's also not so thin that you're gonna be able to see your bra through it. The sleeves get tighter kind of at the forearm. They're only puffy around the upper part of your arm and around the shoulder area. And I just love that look right now. I'm really into the whole puffy sleeves, big shoulders, shoulder pads. <laughs> I got this in my normal size, a US 6. This next thing that I got, I love it so much. It fits me like a glove and I've been on the hunt for one of these silky mini dresses, but it's hard to find one that fits you right. These dresses are really in right now because you can dress them up or down yet again. <laughs> it has the cow neck. I love that. It just really flatters the chest area. I don't own anything in this light baby blue color, so I was attracted to it. I never really wear blue just because it's hard for me to find pieces of blue clothing that I like, but this one really stood out to me. It fits me perfectly in the waist, in the hips, in the bust, and it's very rare that I find pieces of clothing that do that. You could wear this by itself with some heels or some sneakers. I would probably wear it with a long sleeve shirt underneath. Um, I recently got this one from Urban and it has a bunch of blue and different colors in it, but it would really complement this well. So I'd probably wear that underneath. It's like a sheer top. Or you could wear a plain black turtleneck, plain white turtleneck with some Air Forces. You could wear it with some heels, some strappy sandals, and I think it would look really cute. I also got this in a size US 6. And the last item that I got is this cute little faux leather purse. I'm obsessed with it. I love mini bags right now. They are my obsession. I think they complete every single outfit and I want every single one that I see. <laughs> I just thought the color was really nice. It would go with a lot of different things. It's a really soft faux leather material. I don't know if they had it in any other colors. I just thought it would be really cute for fall and just anytime really you always need a nude little purse. All right guys, I think that is everything. Those are all the things that I got from Misguided. Let me know if you guys like styling videos like this because I would love to do more, obviously. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it because that'll let me know that you liked it. <laughs> so again, I will have all of the things that I showed you guys listed in the description box below with a link. So if you wanna go check it out, you can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.